Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Jana and my first introductory video on this channel is gonna be my current small perfume collection. I currently only have 5 perfumes here and my preference is usually sweet oriental scents, which is uh, a common theme you're gonna notice later on in this video. So without any further ado, let's get started. I think I'm gonna go in the order from the first edition to the latest one. And for each one, I'm gonna put up the notes on the screen. Starting out with Yes I Am by Cacharel, which is actually my very first quote-unquote grown-up perfume that I ever owned. I've already gone through a whole bottle of this one, so this is my second one. And as you can see, it has a huge dent here and the juice got a bit darker, which is allegedly normal for perfumes that have vanilla in them. This is a very sweet, vanilla-y, caramel-y sort of lactonic perfume. It has raspberry, lemon, bergamot and mandarin as the top notes, but I don't get those too much on myself. And I love the dry down a lot, because that's when this sweet sort of spicy aspect comes into play. I know a lot of people say it's juvenile and make fun of the bottle, but guys, I do not I will care. defend this one with my life. I think after trying all of the different perfumes, including the ones in this video that I currently own, this one is still my favorite. It's also very popular with guys, my boyfriend is a huge fan of this one, he will actually notice this one and compliment me non-stop on how good I smell. It also has great longevity for me personally. So yeah, this is Yes I Am. The next one is Juliet Has A Gun Vanilla Vibes. This one I actually got last fall after testing out in the store multiple times. It has this super satisfying slow sprayer that Juliet Has A Gun is notorious for. And it also has a bit of a dent here from just this summer only. This one is the perfect summer scent in my opinion. It has a bit of a sunscreeny vibe, but not too much. It has this top note of salt, but I find that on me it disappears pretty quickly. And this perfume pulls more sweet. That's actually a common theme for me, that whenever a perfume has those sweet notes in the base, they tend to come out the most. The other notes are Vanilla Absolute, Orchid, Tonka Bean, which I love, Sandalwood, Benzoin and Musk, which gives this one this summer skin type of vibe. The only issue with this fragrance is that I don't find this one to be super long lasting, but it's decent in terms of longevity. But I don't know, maybe I'm just becoming anosmic to it. Anyway guys, call me Travis Scott because I get those goosebumps every time. I love this one. Next up is Zara Fields at Nightfall. I actually really like the bottle, especially this pink cap, which I find very pretty. This one is supposed to be Dupin This Is Her by Zadig and Voltaire, and uh, I do have to say these two are pretty similar, because I have tested them out side by side on my skin. I do actually still want This Is Her in my collection, but it kind of seems like that one has the potential to give me a headache a little bit, so I decided to go for the Zara version first and try wearing it because it smells like the lighter version of This Is Her. According to Fragrantica, the notes include praline, jasmine, sandalwood and amber, and this one is this warm, creamy type of scent. I haven't actually worn this one yet, but I'm really looking forward to wearing it in the fall. I don't expect it to have good longevity though. I actually used to own uh, Femme Intense from Zara, which was one of my favorite everyday scents and uh, I had to overspray all the time with that one but yeah, I think this one is gonna be amazing once fall rolls around The next one is a tiny 15ml bottle and this one is Fleur de Coton by Solinotes You guys are gonna have to hear me out on this one so sometimes uh, in the summer when it's super hot outside you just wanna smell good and clean but you you know, you don't want to smell like too much fragrance, sort of. I don't know about you guys, but where I live, we maybe have two weeks like this tops. And obviously you don't want to splurge on an expensive perfume just for those days. This one is super affordable. I think a 50ml bottle costs like 17 euros or something. I don't know if they sell this one in the States or Canada though. 
And this one I think is perfect for those days because it smells sort of like fresh laundry and clean clothes that have just been washed. It's pretty simple in terms of notes and it's just this musky clean scent. And the crazy thing is this one actually gets compliments. Just the other day I was hanging out with my friend and she said I smelled super good, completely unprompted by the way. The downsides are that uh, it has a bit of a leaky cap and that it doesn't have good longevity. It lasts maybe about three hours, but still it's super affordable and I actually strongly recommend this one for the summer. And finally, the most recent addition to my collection is Girl of Now by Ellie Saab. This one is super popular and it's this creamy almondy dessert-like smell. I find that the almond note is super prominent here. I have this very cute little 30ml bottle. This one has a bit of a story for me actually. So so this winter I was sitting at a cafe with a friend of mine and behind us uh, were those two girls, right? And one of them just smelled amazing, you guys, I'm telling you, I thought she smelled like an angel. I was tempted to ask her what she was wearing, but I didn't want to bother her or interrupt the conversation with my friend. So fast forward to June, I'm just bumming around at the store, smelling perfumes and I find this one and I decide to smell it quickly just because it's popular. I spray it on the paper. I think it's not that special and it sort of smells like bubble gum. But the thing is, while I was spraying, I accidentally got it on my hand. Then when I was on my way home, I noticed this amazing sweet and warm scent coming off of me and I realized it's this one. And the thing is, this is actually the same scent that I remember the girl at the cafe having. And then I tell this story to my friend and I forget about it. And then she basically gave this one to me on my birthday because she's super thoughtful and amazing like that. So yeah, that's it for my current perfume collection. I'm actually curious what you guys have to say about these fragrances. If you have any of them, feel free to share in the comments. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next video.